in order to be able to do these kind of problems you needed to pay attention when we were going over the process if you know you have a second difference sequence or if you discover you have a second difference sequence call the first term f find the differences find that sequence that sequence is going to have a constant difference we're going to call it d and it's going to have a direct formula dx plus e where e is the zeroth term the term that comes before the first term we learned that third quarter if all of that is true then the original sequence is going to have this formula where a is half of d half of that constant difference b is e minus a meaning this constant term minus whatever you came up with a so half of the difference and c is going to be first term minus that constant in the formula Anyway, this is how it could work for your castle arrow situation. So here's our sequence, 85, 155, 215. Two sixty-five. That's our sequence. From that we can pull our first term is eighty-five. So F in our formulation. All right, we're going to find the differences of these things. So 155 minus 85 is 70. 215 minus 155 is 60. 265 minus 215 is 50. All right, we're counting down by tens. That means our constant difference is minus 10. That'll be letter D. And if I write a formula for this sequence, it's going to be negative 10x plus the term that comes before 70 is 80. So 80 is our letter E. Then, very simply, A x squared plus b x plus c a is half of that constant difference so half of negative 10 would be negative 5 b is letter e 80 minus letter a negative 5 so 80 minus negative 5 is 85 and c it's going to be this constant difference subtracted from the first term, or f minus e is 5. We're going to double check and make sure that this is actually true before we move on. So if x is 1, we have negative 5 plus 85 plus 5. All right, negative 5 plus 5 cancel out. We have 85. All right. If x is 2, we've got negative 20 plus 170, so we're at 150 plus 5, 155, cool. Try one more. If x is 3, we've got negative 45 plus 255, so that's 210 plus 5, 215. Alright, cool. This formula is generating that sequence. So purple is, is the formula that is defining the path of the arrow. All right, now my questions. Will the arrow ever get high enough to reach the 437 foot window? If yes, how many seconds will it take to reach the height? If no, how high of a platform will you need to be shooting from to compensate for your lack of strength? Show or explain all your reasoning. Hint. After you write the direct formula, a graph might help. All right, I'm going to copy this direct formula and use that graph formula in here. And we will zoom. Uh, let me make that actually all right, squared. And can I zoom? Uh, 
let's go from 0 to 10 uh, from 0 to what we wanted to get up to 437 we'll go to 500 okay bang so this is the path of the arrow expanded out highest point right doesn't get any higher than this so the highest point is at 8.5 seconds or 366.25 feet high I'm just going to round up to 366 come back over here and say the highest point we ever reach according to the graph is 366.25 feet no we never reach the 437 foot window unless we start from a platform that is 366 my or 437 minus 366 is 71 about 71 feet tall okay so really truly this archer has no no chance of delivering a message that high unless they uh, can develop a lot more strength that's that